Dear students, in this video, you are going to learn about section formula. To derive this formula, first draw a coordinate plane which contains x-axis and y-axis placed perpendicular to each other. The point of intersection of two axes is origin. Take any two points on the coordinate plane. Name the points as A and B. Let the coordinates of point A as x1, y1 and coordinates of point B as x2, y2. Now join the points A and B. Now AB is a line segment. A and B are the end points. Now take a point on the line AB. Now point P divides the line segment AB in the ratio M1 is to M2. Line segment AB is divided into two parts AP and PB. P divides line AB in the ratio M1 is to M2. That is PA by PB is equal to M1 by M2. Now we have to find the coordinates of point P. That is we have to find X and Y. Let us derive the formula to find the coordinates of point P that is X and Y. For that draw a line from A perpendicular to X axis from P and from B which is perpendicular to X axis. Now AL, PM and BN perpendicular to X axis. Draw a line AQ perpendicular to PM and PR perpendicular to BN. Now look at the triangles PAQ and BPR. In triangle BAQ and BPR Angle PQA is equal to PQ PR B because angle Q and angle R 90 degree. Angle PAQ is equal to angle BPR because they are corresponding angles. PR parallel to AQ. BA is a transversal. Therefore, corresponding angles are equal. Angle BPR is equal to angle PAQ. Therefore, triangle PAQ similar to triangle BPR according to AA criteria. Two angles are equal. Therefore, triangles are similar. If triangles are similar, their corresponding sides are in the same ratio. That is PA by BP is equal to AQ by PR is equal to PQ by BR. Now we know PA by BP is equal to M1 by M2. Let us find the remaining sides of the triangle that is AQ, PR, PQ and BR. Now see here OL is equal to X1. Distance of point A from Y axis is X1. So OL is X1. OM is equal to X. OM is the distance of point P from Y axis. So OM is equal to X. Now ON is equal to x2 
on is the distance of point b from y axis now what is lm lm is equal to aq lm is equal to aq lm is equal to om minus ol see here om minus ol that is is equal to x minus x1 therefore aq is equal to x minus x1 now what is the length of mn mn is equal to pr mn is equal to pr that is is equal to on minus om that is on is x2 minus x similarly along the y axis along the y axis we have to find the distances what is the distance pq pq is equal to and we have to find br now oa distance of point a from x axis is y1 distance of point p from x axis is y distance of point b from x axis is y2 therefore pq is equal to y minus y1 pq is equal to y minus y1 br is equal to y2 minus y pq is equal to y minus y1 br is equal to y2 minus y now substitute these values in equation 1 that is pa by bp is equal to aq by pr is equal to pq by br that is m1 by m2 is equal to x minus x1 by x2 minus x is equal to y minus y1 by y2 minus y now see here this we got m1 by m2 is equal to x minus x1 by x2 minus x is equal to y minus y1 by y2 minus y now we have to simplify this to get the formula for x and y now take first two ratios that is m1 by m2 is equal to x minus x1 divided by x2 minus x now cross multiply it is m1 into x2 minus x is equal to m2 into x minus x1 now multiply m1 into x2 that is m1 x2 minus m1 x is equal to m2 x minus m2 x1 that is m1 x2 plus m2 x1 m2 x1 from the right hand side that becomes plus m2 x1 is equal to m2 x plus m1 x because m2 x and m1 x their x is common so i took m1 x2 to the rhs 
now m1 x2 plus m2 x1 is equal to x is common take it outside x into m2 plus m1 so here we get the value of x that is x is equal to m1 x2 plus m2 x1 divided by m1 plus m2 this is the formula to find the x coordinate of point p x coordinate of point p which divides the line segment in the ratio m1 is to m2 is given by m1 x2 plus m2 x1 divided by m1 plus m2 let us find the y coordinate by using the first and third ratio that is m1 by m2 is equal to y minus y1 divided by y2 minus y cross multiply that is m1 into y2 minus y is equal to m2 into y minus y1 now m1 y2 minus m1 y is equal to m2 y minus m2 y1 m1 y2 plus m2 y1 is equal to m2 y my plus m1 y because i want the value of y so m1 y2 plus m2 y1 is equal to take y outside then m2 plus m1 therefore y is equal to m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2 this is the formula to find the y coordinate of point p which divides the line segment ab therefore coordinates of point p that is x comma y which divides the line segment in the ratio which divides the line segment joining the points a x1 y1 and b x2 y2 in the ratio m1 is to m2 is given by coordinates of point p which divides the line segment joining the points a and b in the ratio m1 is to m2 is given by the formula we derived the formula that is p of x comma y coordinates of point p x comma y is equal to m1 x2 plus m2 x1 divided by m1 plus m2 comma y coordinate is m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2 this is known as section formula
this is known as section formula remember this formula to solve the problems m1 x2 plus m2 x1 by m1 plus m2 is the x coordinate m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2 is the y coordinate of a point which divides the line segment in the ratio m1 is to m2 now we derived section formula that is p of x y is equal to m1 x2 plus m2 x1 divided by m1 plus m2 then m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2 if m1 is to m2 is equal to 1 is to 1 then p is called then point p is called the midpoint of the line segment if the point p divides the line segment into two equal parts means the ratio is 1 is to 1 then P will be the midpoint. So, in that case, P of x, y is equal to 1 into x2 plus 1 into x1 divided by 1 plus 1, comma, 1 into y2 plus 1 into y1 divided by 1 plus 1. That is midpoint P of x, y is given by x2 plus x1 divided by 2, y2 plus y1 divided by 2. This is called midpoint formula. If P is the midpoint of the line segment joining the points x1, y1 and x2, y2, then coordinates of the midpoint P is given by x2 plus x1 by 2 comma y2 plus y1 by 2. This is known as midpoint formula. If P is the midpoint then ratio of division are equal. So the ratio m1 is to m2 will be 1 is to 1. 